breaking news alert comes from the west side. Right now, crews are working to reopen all eastbound lanes of I-10 right there at 295. There's a car that was pinned. We've been following it all morning underneath a semi. Traffic's backed up for miles. Crystal Moore is in the traffic center. She'll track your delay times and help you get around it with some alternates. But we begin with Channel 4's Ashley Harding on the scene. So, Ashley, how did this car become beneath, pinned beneath that semi? Bruce, that's information we are still waiting to confirm with the authorities here on scene. I will tell you, a man who is here on scene, there has been for quite a while, uh, he showed me a couple pictures of that car way lodged way deep underneath that semi. You can see they are all still here on scene, and that is the car. It looks like it is about to be towed away. That semi is also here as well. There's no word yet if anyone has been injured. When we arrived here, we did not see if uh, JFRD was on here as on scene as well, but they may have already taken somebody to the hospital, but that's more information we are waiting to confirm. But you can see it looks like it is difficult from our perspective, I will tell you, but it looks like two lanes have now been reopened. Uh, traffic is moving a little slowly, but surely. It's definitely a lot better than what it was just a little while ago. But yes, um, as I mentioned, we did see some pictures of that car pinned underneath that semi. It's amaz amazing to me how far that that was able to get in. Uh, we're not going to be able to show them to you just yet, but that is something we will work to bring to our newsroom and to you, our viewers. But yes, if you're making your way uh, along this stretch of highway at I-10 I eastbound, uh, it may take a little bit longer. So let's check in now with 